This is the website called Plants of the World Online, and it's hosted by uh, this location, the Ro uh, Royal Botanic Gardens Q, K E W, uh, pronounced Q. And this is really one of the foremost botanical gardens in the world, uh, certainly the English speaking world. Uh, it's a location outside of London in the UK. Uh, the website is plantsoftheworldonline.org. And the purpose of this website is to show you uh, all, basically it's a, a goal to inventory all the species of plants uh, that can be found. Uh, so these would be flowering plants. Uh, and you can search by, again, scientific name here. And we'll stick with the old Sagittaria cuneata. It starts filling in for us, which is handy. And uh, as I type that in, it's giving me more options. And I'll go ahead and click this one, Sagittaria cuneata. Uh, it gives us one search result. And I can click to that. Uh, this website isn't too rich in images. They have like one, uh, typically one stand-in image. I imagine they might fill in more over time. Uh, one thing that I really like about this resource is it gives the native range. So uh, you can typically find out where in the world a plant has grown, uh, but you may not know which parts of those ranges are native. And so this website makes a point to distinguish those, and I'll show you a map in a little bit. Uh, Subarctic America, Northwest and Central United States. So we could scroll down a little bit, uh, and there's a map. Uh, this is a map with political units. So uh, within the United States and Canada, these are divided up by state. Uh, other countries, just the whole country gets colored in if uh, the plant was native to that area. So this is similar to maps we've seen of Sagittaria cuneata, where there were points on the map. Uh, this is just sort of uh, big, broad brush locations of where it is native. Uh, maybe after this we'll look up a species that has some non-native components and uh, there's some different colors that show up on these maps. So this is its native range. Um, so if you found it in Wisconsin, that makes sense that it would be native there. You also would be able to find this species in other places. Uh, synonyms, another good resource here. So the uh, when we did a search, it told us that Sagittaria cuneata was an accepted name. And then there also are these synonyms. So we've seen before on GBIF, Sagittaria aerifolia is uh, a synonym. Uh, other ones, Sagittaria paniculata, Suxdorfia, and so on. Um, so this is just a kind of a taxonomic job that has to be done to make sure that everybody across the world is using the correct names when they refer to the same species. Um, that's the main useful components of these, the map and then the synonyms. Uh, and then this information about where the species is native. So let's do another search here uh, for one that's got a non-native component in North America. So Lithrum salicaria is the uh, purple loose strife. So this is the correct name. And uh, if we go down to the map, the map's got some purple zones on it. So native to uh, basically Eurasia, little bits of Africa, and then uh, introduced to North America. Uh, kind of curiously, I think maybe the website run by Q uh, has a little bit of catching up to do on North America. So I think they may be, uh, I don't know, waiting for North American scientists to fill in on this. So there's definitely way more uh, purple loose strife in North America than they have showing here. We know we have it in Wisconsin. I know it's widespread in New England, uh, probably all throughout uh, northern and northeastern states of the United States, but uh, we'll catch up to that. Someday this will all get caught up. Uh, let me just do a little search for synonyms and show you what would happen with that. So if we were to search on uh, Sagittaria aerifolia, which we've seen as a synonym, uh, it'll let me search for that, but then it gives me a couple different uh, search results. So this one is in the gray color and tells me that there's the name with its taxonomic authorities, uh, and then this is the synonym. So this box would really try to send you back to this box, which was the more comprehensive information. So we can go on the synonym page. Uh, not much on here. So there's no map. Uh, there's no list of synonyms because this is a synonym and instead it really wants to direct you to this more summary page for Sagittaria cuneata. 
So we could do that there. 